welcome back guys to the Marvel Champions video. I want to play this game again because I want to do uh, this expansion on expert mode. So I'm going to be using Ironheart with a Justice build, a bit stronger. Now her pre-con deck in my opinion was fantastic, it was a really good deck. But with quite a few good cards that didn't really go anywhere, I didn't really need. So there's alterations, I'm going to focus on this deck. Upgrade strong, join the battlefield. Gain to the stage 3 as fast as I can of my character, then just unleashing hell as fast as I can. So we are playing against Sandman on Expert Mode. It's got Citizen Chaos down to Earth uh, sets in this deck. We have got the Citizen Streets on four counters. Stage 2 of Sandman has one Scheme 3 attack, 18 hit points. When revealed, resolve Searching Sand's ability on City Streets. So I've instantly got to start off placing a counter there. And then doing five cards from this into the discard pile. Ooh, Shaz the Past. Ooh, Exhaustion. Ooh, some not bad. Not bad cards there at all. Okay. So, obviously, with Sandman, as a Force Interrupt, when he attacks, it, it deals indirect damage. And then if I take damage from that attack, I have to resolve so he stands on the streets. Problem with this is, I'm going to go for the deck quite fast. Which means more tokens on here, which means faster schemes. Only one scheme. And also, when I get a Sergeant Token placed in the scheme, I get three damage to me anyway, so I'll be careful for that. Now, his weakness is his low scheme, so I'm going to try and go to Alter Ego as often as I can for this game. So, let's begin our deck. So, so let's begin the gameplay. So, draw it to a hand size. So, two, three, four, five, six. So, ooh, not bad. Sets of scan I don't need. So, we've got straight away two, two double resource cards. Which weren't in the precon deck, I don't think, so these are good. Moon Knight is a great play with the genius. Ronnie Williams is great, so I want to get my counters out early. Uh, Portion Jets is good, more hit points and more threat. I mean, I can't do much yet, but I'm going to get rid of Set to Scan. I don't need to play this. I'm looking at that. Uh, Skill Investigator, so defeat a Sasuke and draw a card. Not amazing, but we'll go with that. We can use that to pay for Moon Girl, though. So we'll play Genius and Investigator. For Moon Girl. Now she's an ally. Um, play if has champion genius trait. I do have the genius trait. Response after you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each um, mental resource used to pay for it. I use two with the dual resource card. So I draw two cards. Ooh, Power and all of us. I've been handy earlier. And Photon Beam. Okay, so I'm going to then play um, Energy for Propulsion Jets. Gives me two hit points. And I'm also going to play, I don't need damage yet, so Photon Beam for Ronnie Williams. And then I'm going to use Exhaust here to put a counter on me. I'm going to save this because it's going to be basic cards next. Actually, no, I'll discard this because I don't need to for ability to do another resource there. And then we're going to flip her over. We're going to Exhaust Moon Girl to remove counters from this because it doesn't cost anything. We're then going to exhaust Portion Jets to move one threat from this, only one because I'm at stage one. That's that gone. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to thwart, keep this down nice and low so I've got to ult three as often as I can. So that's the end of my turn. So I'm going to ready up all my cards. I've only got four hand size, so at the moment I'm quite bad. And that's a pretty bad hand. So one way or another, let's just search card for a size scheme. Reveal it, draw three cards. Union Peru, let's see, search for things. Still status card, very iron heart. Not a great, really. Brawn, I can't afford Brawn. It's a situation, plus one hand size, but I can't use that, but that is good for the extra um, G uh, mental resources. So, on to the villain phase. So, one on here. I will defend. Hopefully, I get no boost icons. So, I get no boost icons. That's pretty lucky. If I did get boost icons, I have to dish out of damage. If I didn't dish out of damage and took damage, I'd have to put counters on here, resolve the ability, so it's quite, quite bad. So, so that's that done. So, a counter card is now or never. So, choose... A certain token on the main scheme. There's also kind of control and send a resource of any type. I think I'll do that. Like Exhaust Moon Girl, and I'll spend a resource of Brawn. I can't use Brawn. It's fine. So onto my go. So I'm going to exhaust this to move threat from there. I'm going to flip her back over. It's on zero, the scheme, so I'm okay for that. I'm going to spend one way or another for a counter on here. I'm also going to exhaust Ronnie Williams for another counter. The idea is to get for my stage three as fast as I can. Then I'm going to play test situation, so I get extra hand size, so I get draw an extra card. And then end my turn. I'm going to discard this and draw seven cards because of that the card I just played. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Strength, clear the area. Going to be great for that afterwards. Vivian, good card for any attachments out. Can get rid of those. Flyover, more threat if I get a bad air draw on the uh, or the boost icons. Multitasking, two threat from a scheme. And then if you use mental resource, which we've got a lot of in this deck, do two from another scheme. And clear the area again and photon beam for damage. So I'm pretty much covered for any situation. And this deck is good for this though. The Justice build up, the Justice deck in general is good for handling any kind of threat that comes out. So onto the villain phase. So one on here. He schemes. Hopefully not much on this. One. Just one. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. Pretty lucky. Encounter card is Friends and Family. So attached to my uh, hero form. So one hero form, increase the resource cost each event by one. All trigger action, discard one entity specific card from your hand to discard this card. Well, I could do that. I don't really need to play um, Photon Beam. So discard that to remove this. So luckily that test situation paid for that, essentially. So while I'm still in this, this form, I'm going to spend that for do this. I'm going to spend a... I'm going to spend this for Flyover. So I've got, I've got my counters now. I can upgrade, but I won't do it yet. We don't do it yet. This is why. So what we do is flip it over. I'm going to attack down to 16. I'm going to exhaust Moon Girl to get us down to 1. I'm going to play Clear the Area, 4 Clear the Area, move 2 threat from a scheme. If we move the last one, draw a card. I do, so I draw a card. Noon improved, so we'll save that for the next turn. So what we'll do is, you know what, we'll play, well, I should play Vivian too. I know I don't really need her just yet, it doesn't really do much. So put that there. She doesn't do anything right now, but she's just handy in case I get hit by, hit by damage. And then I'm going to move three counters, level up. So that version one goes, version two comes out, already made up. That means I can attack again for two. Don't need to use this just yet, so we're okay for that. Uh, I'm going to save new and improved for this turn. I'm going to do two options this time. I'm going to save Vivian just in case. I'm going to leave it there. So we're going to ready up. We're going to get more tasking can go. I don't need that. We'll ready up. I'll draw it to five now. So two, three, four, five. Okay. Toastark AI. Great card. Uh, Luke's top two cards of your deck. One to your hand. card the other. Luckily, it's a persona, but can do it in any form. Hero Alter Ego. Photon Beam. Damage encounters. Stroke of Genius. And a resource card for counters and draw cards and fly over for threats. So I'm pretty much covered again for any situation. So this deck is going really well. So first of all, threat on there. He attacks, I will defend. So three plus. So no no damage goes through, reveal this card. So attachment. So I'm dealing any damage to Sandman. Discard this card instead and resolve certain Sand's ability on the city streets. So it's not the worst encounter card I could have got. But then let's see what this one is. So we have <laughs> another one. Okay, <clears throat> some of these we've got to do twice, I assume. Um, so let's do this. So let's let's attack Sandman with one. Resolve this. Yeah, let's card it instead. So start this. Put one on there, and then one and two. I'm going to exhaust that to move countless on this, keep it down nice and low. I'm going to play. <clears throat> I'm going to play Stroke of Genius, Noon Improved for Tony Stark AI. Because I play that, that resource card, I get to place a counter on her and draw a card. Set situation again. I'm going to exhaust Tony Stark AI, top two cards of the deck. One in my hand, let's card the other. I'll put clear the area in my hand. So I'm going to exhaust this, get us down. I'm going to go back to Alter Ego. And I'm going to exhaust this, this to put a counter on there. Spend a resource from assess situation to put another counter on here of ability. Uh, and then I'm just going to let's just get rid of that, get a photon beam, and ready up. So you see, I'm, normally scheme being low I wouldn't go to Alter Ego. But because I want to get her ability up faster, I need to. So, four, five, and six. So, champions with our bunker, good for drawing cards. Wasp, can I ignore the crisis keyword? And also, pound all of us. Yes, so we are once again ready for anything. So, one threat on here. He schemes for 
just two. So the high so far has been on is three. And Carol card is, ooh, Tidal Sands. So I'm reveal, place X threat here with X number of counters on city streets. Luckily, I cut that down because I know how much of a pain in the arse it is. When I first played this game, I didn't really realise that, and I had that on like seven or eight counters, and it made the game so much harder. Okay, so my turn now. Exhaust this. Threat on there. Have I got a mental resource? I have indeed. That's what these cards are good for. Yeah, they're okay, but they're just discardable resources. So play that, and I've got one on there. So one more, and I'm ready. I exhaust Tony Stark to go two up here. I don't need that. Get rid of one with the other. Go for champions. So each champion character in play can take damage and the round. Good for uh, him. Flip her over. I'm going to thwart with Moon Girl. So get rid of this. I don't want extra encounters on there. Extra encounter cards. Exhaust this for two threat from the scheme. I love those upgrade cards. They're so good. I'm going to play Power and All of Us for the bunker. The bunker over there. Exhaust this to draw two cards, discard two cards. So I've got Tent of Justice. Exhaust it for a resource for a full event. Good for this deck. Um, Photon Blasters. Oh, that is good though. I'm going to go Photon Blasters. Then I'm going to play Stroke of Genius. Go for Champions for <clears throat> Photon Blasters. And exhaust that might as well to do two damage. One, two. <clears throat> Actually, do no damage. Instead, this is discarded and I resolve that ability. So just one. So luckily, it's not too bad. Sand Clones aren't too much of a problem. I can't play for else in my hand. So I'm just going to attack for two. And we are pretty much in control. We've got full health, scheme quite low, a lot of um, cards on play. And this deck is kicking ass. I love this deck so much. I'm going to keep fly over, get rid of a uh, wasp. So two, three, four. Ah, oh, the counter card. Uh oh. Right, we might start hitting a brick wall here with this deck. So let's just see how we go. So, and five. That's right. So we've got Genius Snow Guard. Great card. That would have been handy earlier. We've got a lot faster. So hopefully this turn gets stage three and then we can start really doing some damage. Team building exercise is good as well. Fly over for threat, so should be okay for this. So we're going pretty well. So one on here. He attacks. I'm going to have to defend. So three. Oh, I'm so lucky again. So first encounter card is advance. Ooh, filling scheme. So one plus two is three. Ooh, so I've got three on there now. Watch out for that. And my actual encounter card is, ooh, Dirt Trap. So, <clears throat> when defeated, resolve City Sands and then do it again. So, quite nasty. Okay, so, I want to get extra counts on there. So, I'm going to have to go to Alter Ego soon. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to exhaust this, move that from a scheme. Ah, let's do this. So, resolve City Sands. So, one on there. Two cards. Luckily, this encounter deck is quite big. And then resolve it again. So, ooh, that on there. So, three cards. One, two, and three. Ooh, three. I'm going to exhaust Moon Girl to get us down nice and low. Don't forget, always do that. I'll get a big ally out and exhaust that. I might as well use Champion Mail Bunker to draw two cards and discard one. Ooh, I've got power on all of us with Snow Guard. That's pretty good. We'll get rid of Brawn. I can't play Brawn right now. Exhaust Tony Stock AI to. Top two cards and pick on my hand. We'll take new and improved. So, power on all of us and genius for a uh, snow guard. We're going to give snow guard a certain ability. So, what happens with snow guard? It's a really cool card. Costs four, three hit points. It has zero stats, but you place counters on it up to three. And depending on which one you put on there, you get different abilities. So, I put one counter on there, three attack and overkill. Two, get three and aerial. And about two on there and make it a thwarty machine. So, thwart for three. That's all good. Down we go. I'm going to exhaust Vivian to get that down nice and low. I'm going to spend all these for new and improved. So two, two, two options on stage two. So I'm going to ready Ironheart and, and give her a tough status card. There we go. I'm going to exhaust this for damage. So two damage to the enemy. <clears throat> And we are going to not go Alter Ego, we're going to wait out. We've got tough status cards, so we can hopefully just 
batter them down as much as we can of all the cars we got out at once. So, one, two, three, four, five. One way or another, clear the area for threat. Great. Photon beam, damage, and a counter. Photon beam, damage, and a counter. That'll take us to stage three with the six points we need. So, hopefully, next turn, stage three, and we are looking good. So, step one is threat on the main scheme. There we go. Uh, he attacks. I'll just take. So, take all the hits. So, three... Uh, Tusk takes card goes. Reveal this card. So, place two sand counters on the uh, city streets and resolve it. Surging sand's ability. If at least one salmon card is card this way, you are stunned. That sucks. So, one, ooh, two. Oh, I'm not stunned. Oh, thank God for that. I was so lucky. Oh. Ah, oh, master plan. Why? I've got the discard card. So, I'll get a side scheme. And then, if, there we go. So, panic the disco, panic in the streets. So, this has salvation token. Put that so I don't forget. Treat the printed text box of each location support and each persona support if it's blank. So, this is useless until that card goes. And plus, I've got an extra token there, so that's tricky. Okay, so let's focus on getting up to the. Now, I could move that to fly over. I might do that actually. So, we're going to exhaust the bunker to draw two. And discard one and discard one way, one way or another. Gonna play strength for flyover, move three um, threat from a scheme, and place a counter on Einhardt or two if it was the last threat from that scheme. So I'm on seven. So hey, we can get good now. And exhaust Moon Girl again to do this. I'm gonna thwart with Snow Guard. That's three thoughts down to two. I'm going to exhaust this, move threat from this. So this, this deck is just so good. It just defeats everything. It's just so powerful. That's that done. I can then use this to top two cards. Multitasking, stroke of genius. I'll get rid of multitasking. No threat out. Don't need the threat. And then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to attack first. And get down to eight. We're going to remove six counters. Not only do we get stage three. We also get a tough status card, so even better. And then we can use the counters now to ping off two damage. So we're going to attack for two, down to six. Exhaust this, three damage. Yes. And we're going to do this. We're going to play Stroke of Genius and set to scan. Photon Beam, four to an enemy. So that defeats the enemy. Stage three is revealed. 19 hit points. Uh, place one sound count on the streets and resolve its ability. Keeping that thing nice and low is always good. And we also get to place two counts on there because we um, defeated an enemy. Also account it from the Stroke of Genius resource card and also draw a card. That's always good. Don't need any of these cards really. So I'm just going to... I use the ability to ping, so I'm going to just use it twice just in case. That's four damage, just in case I need some, you know, get a main out of something I need to kill. So one, two, three, four, down to 15. Nice and good. Discard, we'll keep on clear the area. Discard those two, ready up. There we go. I think Moon Girl, first turn, really helped out. She's such a good card. So that's three, four, five, six. We get six hand size now. Excellent stage three cards. Love this card so much. Love this deck so much. Such a good character. It's a shame because I don't really know much about the character in the comics, but I love the character here. So I feel kind of bad saying it, but I love this character so much. Um, one on there. Draw status card. Do what you gotta do. Overkill, it's fine. So, all five damage. None goes through. Screw you. And encounter card. All decks nearly empty. Sand clone. You see why I kept these just in case? That is why. So, my go. Gonna ping off these last two and defeat that. Um, one counts on there. No, finally gonna take some damage. No, I can't believe it. I've was it twenty minutes into this game on stage three on the ropes and I've finally taken damage. What a deck! So that's that there. He gets a token, but I do take three indirect damage. I could uh, do that, but I'm just gonna take it myself. I can afford to. So let's take threat from the main scheme of this. Let's do three damage with this. One so down to twelve. Let's exhaust bunkers. Draw two and discard one. Discard two. Sorry. 
I'll discard this situation, situation and I'll discard. I don't need power and all of us, so one way or another, that can go. I'm going to Tony Stark AI, top two cards of the deck, and discard one. Don't need skilled investigator. Okay, what can I do? So I don't need to thwart. Moon Girl can get exhausted again to get rid of those. I'm going to attack, obviously, getting down to 10. Photon, I'm going to play multitasking. Set situation for Photon Beam. Do four to an enemy, down to six, and a counter. I think I'm just going to play clear the area and power and all of us for sense of justice. And we, you know what we're going to do? We're going to flip to Alter Ego. Because I can. Because I don't need to really do anything else. So flip to Alter Ego. We'll keep this just in case. So two, three, four, five, six. Oh, last card. Let's see how we stumble at this point. So, one more card. Okay, so we have Flyover, Photon Beam, Wasp, another one of those. Yeah, we should be good. I'm thinking this turn we can kill. So, two on there. He schemes for one. Just one. First counter card is Dirt Trap. Hmm, not too bad. Second one is Under Fire. Oh, so two counter cards. Caught off guard. It's got an upgrade to support your control. I'll get rid of Champions Mail or Bunker. I don't really need that right now. I'm nearly at the end, the end game. And then last one is Gang Up, the villain, and each minion attacks you. Oh, Walter Ego. Gain Surge, sorry. Sandslide, place two counters on city streets. Resolve the ability. So, three cards. If any are a. Um, Sandman card, I am, I'm stunned, so that sucks, I am stunned unfortunately. So what can we do here, I'm going to exhaust this to put a counter on here. We're going to flip her over. So I am stunned, I'm going to attack to remove this. I'm going to ping four damage with this. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to play the Photon Beam. For four damage, more than enough to finish off Sandman. And that is it for this gameplay. Um, such a good deck. Um, so versatile. I love Moon Girl. I love the Photon Blasters and Propuls Propulsion Jets. Gain out those, uh, Toastock AI and her support, uh, Ronnie Williams. You can basically just sit back, go to Alter Ego, get your counters up, and just fire off. Um, keep the threat nice and low. Go to Alter Ego as fast as you can, as often as you can. Get your counters. And once you're at stage three, you become a machine, you become a beast. You can basically just take away anything, any size scheme, any minion, any threat. And that is it for this gameplay video. Any questions, comment down below. And as always, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.